So he rose from the table, took off his outer garment, and tied a towel round his waist. Then he poured some water into a wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter. Are you going to wash my feet, Lord? You do not understand now what I am doing, but you will understand later. Never at any time will you wash my feet. If I do not wash your feet, you will no longer be my disciple. Lord, do not wash only my feet then. Wash my hands and head too. <laughs> Those who have taken a bath are completely clean and do not need to wash themselves, except for their feet. All of you are clean. All except one. Jesus already knew who was going to betray him. That is why he said, all of you except one are clean. After Jesus had washed their feet, he put his outer garment back on and returned to his place at the table. Do you understand what I've just done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and it is right that you should do so because that is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have just washed your feet. You then should wash one another's feet. I have set an example for you, so that you will do just what I have done for you. He's got supporters. We must march! We must stand up! You march those people into rural Alabama, it's got to be open season. May I have a word? There's no word to be had. The people! The people! There are 70 million people watching. These pictures are going around the world. We must make a massive demonstration. White, black, and otherwise. Come to some. I heard about the attack of innocent people. I couldn't just stand by. Looks like an army out there. This revolution goes on and on. This revolution goes on and on. My eyes have seen the glory. When a man stands up, says enough is enough. For 25 years, Francois Clemens played a character on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Fred Rogers heard Clemens sing in church, and in 1968, he joined the cast. He was thought to be the first African-American actor to have a recurring role on a kid's TV series. At StoryCorps, he told a friend about how he became Officer Clemens. Fred came to me and said, I have this idea. You could be a police officer. That kind of stopped me in my tracks. I grew up in the ghetto, and I did not have a positive opinion of police officers. Policemen were sicking dogs and water hoses on people. And I really had a hard time putting myself in that role. So I was not excited about being Officer Clemens at all. But there was one particular scene that Fred and I did where he had his feet resting in this plastic pool on a hot day. Oh, there's Officer Clemens. Hi, Officer Clemens. Come oh, in. Rogers, how are you? Fine. And he invited me to come over and to rest my feet in the water with him. Would you like to join me? Okay. Many ways to say I love you. 
so proud of you, Francois. Oh, thank you, Fred. I like being a human being right here and now. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get back to work. Uh, I always like it whenever you have time to, to visit with us. Thank Can I you. help you here? Thank you. Did you ever take a bath in a, in a little pool like this? I sure did. Boy? The icon Fred Rogers not only was showing my brown skin in the tub with his white skin as two friends, but as I was getting out of that tub, he was helping me dry my feet. There, that one's dry. Thank you. And so that scene touched me in a way that I, I was not prepared. Sometimes just a minute like this will really make a difference. I think he was making a very strong statement. That was his way. I still was not convinced that Officer Clemens could have a positive influence in the neighborhood and in the real world neighborhood, but I think I was proven wrong. <laughs>